Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odo Technical Developer. In the previous videos we have discussed about the controller, we have discussed about how the website templates, how to develop the templates and we have also discussed that how we can display the data on the template from the Odo model. And uh, in so far we have uh, we have a work with controller directly but in this video what we are going to do is uh, to add the website support so like for example uh, we need uh, the website logo we need the menu items at the top we need the header at the top and the footer at the bottom and we need the login option so for this purpose we do have uh, a, a module uh, with the name website which uh, we can use uh, in order to add these ready-made things so uh, we just need to add uh, this in the template and it will be automatically loaded and all these options will be added automatically so we, do, we uh, don't need to develop it from the scratch uh, okay and uh, for this purpose we first we need to add the website module uh, in the dependency so like here in this is the module that we are working so let me just open it and uh, let me close this here it is the module open academy and here in the manifest file in the depend section we have to add uh, a website module so first step is this uh, to add the website support and the next step is to add a website is equal to true flag on the controller so what this th does uh, this uh, sets up some new variable uh, on the request object and also allows uh, us to add the website layout in our uh, template. So what we will do here in this um, api.root we have to add website is equal to true. So we need to add website support here and the next step is to use the website layout in the template. So uh, for example let me this is the template that we are using so currently the output of this template is this one so let me just add the website layout just uh, before the uh, title so like for example here we need to add t and then a t call so we have to call a uh, website dot uh, layout like this and then close it so we need to close it at the end like this so hmm, we need to hit reformat it like this and then let me restart go to service and after the restart we will have to update the module so if we uh, go here and let me open this module so here we have added a new dependency so first of all let me activate the debug mode uh, to see the dependencies of uh, this module and so we give an open academy not course so these are the dependencies uh, report and it has not yet uh, updated so we have to update a list like this and then refresh it again open it and here we will see so website module has been added but it is not yet installed so uh, it should be installed otherwise the uh, it will not work so let me upgrade the module so uh, uh, after the module upgrade the website module will be added automatically and it will be installed and after that you will able a different view here so let's wait uh, to install this module so it is just uh, uh, loading the menus and it will load all the data in the website module and it will install uh, all the templates uh, that are needed for the website module okay so so you can see in the logs it is uh, uh, creating the tables and it is loading the data okay so it has been installed and we will see it after this okay so 
so it has been loaded and uh, let me click here so here you can see the website menu here now and let me refresh this page okay so after refreshing this page you will see that how it looks like so here you can see the website uh, related header and footer has been added automatically just by adding this uh, website dot layout and we have added website is equal to true and uh, the first uh, step was to add the website in the depend uh, parameter okay so this is how you can add the website support to your module and uh, it you can customize it so if you want to access it as a public user and let's see how it looks like so here you can see this is the website uh, logo website uh, uh, the two menu items and this is the login page so here this here we can see the data that we have displayed and here you can log in it as uh, the Udo backend and this is the footer so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and uh, if you want to see more videos like this please uh, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to uh, click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos in the next video we will discuss about the urls and uh, the routing so please uh, keep in touch with the channel thank you